hi guys welcome back to my channel I know I have been missing in action for quite a while but you are, as you guys know my son has started his own business in sugar scrubs and I am assisting him and he is accompany, accompanying me at different craft markets so doing videos is a little bit difficult at this point in time but I have a lot of things that I want to share with you a lot of people that I met and I want to share my experience with you so I'm just gonna dive right into it okay so on Saturday I did a pop-up shop with planting seeds it was nice I met some really great people and one of my vending neighbors was Heidi she sells cake, a variety of cakes and Yannick bought a carrot cake from her so I'm just gonna share the cake was awesome one but it's her packaging I found it to be really cute it's a big box yes but you get to see and her card is here you remove the card and it's like this right and you flip the box and she has a cupcake hold apart so the cake the cupcake doesn't go sliding um the cake was really great um i love her packaging so if anybody's interested in getting her cakes you all can contact her here really friendly girl she has a nice team working with her as well um, the other thing I picked up, um, I was at Trinity City Mall a few weeks ago and they were having a cocoa pop-up shop. So I picked up this cocoa knit brittle. It has a little bit of aftertaste but it tastes really good. Right? Um, I also tasted the banana dipped in chocolate and that was really nice. And just like this, that too could be incorporated when you're making banana bread or muffins or cupcakes and things like that. So this tastes really good. The other thing that we picked up from that um, chocolate pop-up were some marshmallows that were infused in sorrel and covered with chocolate. We got four pieces for $20 in our box. It was really good. And it was from Philippa's Garden. She is on Instagram and Facebook. It was really, really nice. Um, her brother does her graphics. Her daughter does all social media promotions and her sister is a pharmacist so she does all the soaps and that kind of thing really nice um, I went to some cra cra craft markets and I picked up a few items that I would like to share with you guys I know the light just went there I don't know so let me put these things on top of so Yannick and I went to a craft market um, some two Saturdays ago and I picked up this beautiful purse from Roxy's design and I paid $50 TT for it. It is fully waterproof. There's a zipper to the back for your coins. Right? It's yellow so I appreciated that. And you flip it open and this is a part for your money and you can hold six cards and this is her card right so for $50 I find it was a steal of a deal price and it's waterproof and I could still toss it in the washing machine if it's dirty yes um, I picked up some stuff from Eve I got well the name isn't here but this is a male soap it smells so good it's like <sighs> yeah so i picked up this i think it's 35 for one three four hundred i also picked up this e fiesta flavor and look at the pattern isn't it cute so i picked that up and i also picked up the citrus mint i picked up another one with satsuma and oatmeal I think I can't remember but I know my mom saw it and she took that one Eve also gave me some samples I think the fragrance in this is Satsuma so I got these um, I also this was gifted to me gifted the light virgin coconut oil it comes all the way from St. Vincent Mm 
right so the person's information is there yes right um and his contact as well if you're in st vincent you can pick it up right this was gifted to me my friend juliana is now selling soaps candles and melts candle melts that you could put in your wax warmer and give the scent a beautiful the room a beautiful scent instead of candles you could put it in a wax warmer so she gave me a sample of the black soap and i really liked this soap we went to a craft market together two saturdays ago um this one is very berry this is her she's on instagram juliana's collection and i really liked how this looked with the roses petals and the little pink dots i really liked how this looked so i picked this up i think i think this was 20 dollars 20 but don't quote me and the other thing i picked up we went to a craft market at Borneo west and i bought this from her charcoal and lemongrass i picked that up all right um also at the craft market on last week saturday i picked up this fragrance riri by rihanna and it's by the company secret sensations and the owner is jules and i think i paid like 21 or 27 dollars for this and it smells so good you have a variety of fragrances but this one just put my new sense um this was gifted to me by eve um for those who like to wax would like to go the natural way of waxing eve has created her sugar paste now eve used this on herself so she decided to package it and to sell it right and it's the sugar in paste for natural hair removal removal it in the ingredients are sugar water lime juice and salt and to the back there is all the ingredients and the benefits and the directions in using the sugar, the sugar piece for waxing right um, I think it retails for $30 and this is how much you get right this is how much you get which will last you a very long time so this is a really good purchase I am yet to try it because I need to follow all the directions to have a great outcome yes so I'll be definitely try this and give you all a review but if anybody already uses it uh, what I mean uses sugar pasting and would like to purchase you can contact Eve she's on Instagram and Facebook right um, I went the same craft market at Borneo West I was able to meet another person that i follow on instagram and i was able to purchase something that i really wanted and i really love right and it's no other than these earrings these crocheted earrings yeah yeah it's out of my comfort zone but i really like it and you can bend it how you want any design because there's a wire but i don't want to change the shape of my earring thank you very much <laughs> right but there is a wire in there um and i sorry the person i purchased this from is camilla's creations her mom does the all the crocheting yes and i think i paid 35 dollars for this pair which i find wasn't bad at all i really love the colors is it you all know i'm a yellow freak so i try to pick up my stuff with yellow not that i can't go with other colors but it's really my favorite color and i try to use colors in my branding of yellow expressions so last but not least i finally got to meet this wonderful young lady who is just 
amazing, great personality, just bubbly and friendly and was able to explain a lot of things to me and there was it is a while I wanted to meet up with her and I finally got to and it's no other than Femi Goddess she, if you all are in, on Instagram you can follow her there and I bought three of her items the first one I purchased was the Femi Goddess Uni Steam this was a hundred and forty dollars right i think you could get three uses out of it i haven't opened it as yet i haven't started to use it as yet so i picked up this and the ingredients are mugwort lavender rose petals rosemary and six others um i guess it's six other ingredients but i would have liked to know what the ingredients uh, for people since who may have allergies or to stuff allergic to stuff it's kind of important that they know what else is in there especially sage a lot of people are, are allergic to sage um the other thing i bought but i bought this small one was a femi goddess yummy uni and it's a natural gentle way to clean to cleanse and keep your honey pot sweet shake before use so it's a foam it comes out as a foam you just need one to you don't even need the full two pumps but you know we like to overdo right and um all the ingredients are in here and she says apply two two to three pumps to your hand hand towel or actual hand wash wash the external part of your uni only Use your fingertips to clean thoroughly throughout the folds. Soap should not inside of your uni. Okay, should not go. The O is missing from go and the H is miss missing from wash. And she has all the ingredients and all her contact information and social media pages. So this is her information there as well. And last but not least, as I said, I purchased this small one. There's a large one for a hundred dollars. But last but not least, I excuse me. I purchased the Excelier oil. Um, it's natural and gentle way to assist in preventing infection, soothe irritations, anti-inflammatory, and antifungal moisturizer can also be used as a natural lubricant now let me just say that this oil is very light it has a fragrance that I can't put my fingertips on as yet but it's a very light fragrance it absorbs well it does not leave any greasy residue on your undergarments you have no irritations it's really 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 nice and as you can see this was full because I have been using it yes i have been using it and it's really nice it's really nice i really again it doesn't have the ingredients on it so i can't say what's in it but for sure i am guessing that these are rose petals in there but she doesn't have the ingredients on the label yeah but it's really nice it's really nice so go support her on instagram and she's really nice in person really nice human yes and last but not least I am here to share with you something that I purchased because I just wanted it and it's no other than and I'm gonna tell you just show you box it came in this beautiful box that I love and I wish it will always come in this box I am promoting and hoping and begging that it stays in the box right it's no other than the Gilly Life TT um and that's mom's phone number there it's coming out of point 14 right i just love the packaging now i'm going to show you how to tighten another video i will not show you in this video right um so what it is is an auto gili so i have everything is touched down and tacked down so this is let me just show you i can't i would not show you i'll have to turn the camera and stuff to show you how i tie it so i'm just going to give you a quick quick 
of how I put it on. Everything, let me just untie it and show you how it's made up. Okay, so this is the front. This is the little square part, and these are the strings to tie. Okay. So, yeah, in another video, I will show you how to tie it and so forth. But I'm just giving you a quick of how it looks. Am I holding the right? No. I just want to show you how quick and easy it is. Right? And then this, you just tie this part here. Right? And you fix it. For some reason, I'm not seeing. Right? And there you go, your auto gilet, right? With all the thousand pleats, you fan it out how you want, you fix it until you get the desired look you want, yeah. And she has some with beads, and then she has one. I really need to get that one, I really want that one. It's just a piece of it's a fabric, but it has a piece sticking out, it doesn't have the pleats, and then. There you go. If you have a mannequin, you can leave it tied and just put it on and you store it back in your box. So check her out on Instagram. And she is the mother of one of our great YouTubers on YouTube. No other than C the Diva E. Um, better known as C the C the Petite Shop that does everything natural for skin, body, and hair. Yeah, so this is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it and look forward to many more. Please like this video and subscribe. Tell a friend so we could grow in numbers. Take care, guys. Bye.